What's up, yeah, Joe? Uh, my final video of the day. Wow, I'm sick. Yeah, usually when I film like my videos, I'll make a list of maybe like four or five videos. Then I film them all in one shot, and then like I just you know edit them as I need them, kind of thing. <clears throat> so <laughs> yeah, there will probably be a few videos in a row that I'm, I'm actually sick, and for that reason. This topic's from a private conversation I was somewhat having with uh, a friend. We're talking about like um, getting known or where to start or like, you know, what to do with your skills, right? Because the hardest part, like just simply that, getting started. And basically like the, this uh, person was showing me like his work in the sense of like uh, you know, what he does. You know, he's an artist and all this shit. And like, uh, you know, I was suggesting, oh, yeah, maybe try to sell the graphics or do something with it, you know. And, and like uh, the person's response was uh, he didn't know where like it just felt like why post it on the internet when only like maybe one or two people are gonna watch it this and that and so on and so forth right so you guys like that energy of like you want to start like uh, off with already like a following and you already want to have like a bunch of like likes and views and this and that like the moment you started right now I don't really uh, have a good answer for that because obviously in my case, you know, uh, I don't have like a lot of people watching my videos and stuff like that. It's very small, right? In comparison to someone say like Paul, right? But the, my overall goal of what I have in the sense of like uh, my way of creating my content, the communication I'm having, this and that. Um, I set a goal for myself that I'm actually maintaining, I'm happy with. I guess and for me, that's my success really, you know, was uh, be able to like have what I have at the moment. And it's growing, you know, my little following. And I'm happy that it is. Could I do things differently to like uh, expedite the growth? Of course, right? But I don't want to really, to be honest. Uh, that being said, um, I guess the point of me making this video was that like, uh, you know, I, I just speak it for myself as a guy, you know, that, you know, my whole life I've been self-employed. I work with my dad, you know, I had our own business, this and that. And like going head first, not knowing what the results is going to be. I think that's part of like the challenge and if anything, the journey of like working on yourself, right? When I decided to like, you know, I didn't want to become, I didn't want to like continue with the work of construction. I just got tired of it. I wanted to like venture out to something else. The whole thing with me and like movies was because, well, I just, I'm a big fan of movies. I like watching a lot of movies, you know. I got interested in like maybe being a part of that. I didn't know where to start and all, the first thing I did was literally, I just, I bought a book. I went to Barnes and Noble and, you know, this is before I really got into YouTube. And like, I just bought a book. I remember it was like uh, making your first movie because like, I just didn't know where to start. So I just started with a, a fucking book. Uh, the book itself didn't really help me <laughs> in any way, right? But I mean, like the point I'm trying to get at is like, I didn't know where to start myself. So the first thing I did was just read a book. And then from the book, you know, go on the website. And then from the books, you know, uh, uh, I guess, you know, YouTube started to become a thing and like Robert Rodriguez, you know, he got popular for making a El Marachi, which the movie was like, what, $5,000 to make or some shit like that? I started watching some of his videos. He actually had like uh, some motivational videos about like, okay, you know, you want to be a filmmaker? Nah, fuck that. You got to change your state of mind. You are a filmmaker, right? You got to have that energy of like, you are a filmmaker, you know, make uh, business cards, meet people, this and that, right? Yeah, sure enough, I actually took that advice. I uh, made business cards, you know. Yeah, you know how Vista print, you know, they, you can like buy a show of, you know, cards for like, I don't know, 20 bucks or whatever. Like, yeah, I got that, right? And I like, handed it up to people, you know, it's like, it, it's awkward. It totally is. I'm not going to deny that, you know. It's like when you don't know where to start or exactly what to offer, you're like, I'm a filmmaker. All right, so what movies have you done? Uh, something in my garage. <laughs> You know, it is awkward, right? Especially when you're starting out and like, uh, you know, you want to like get your foot in something. And like, yo, it's been like, uh, it was a struggle. It definitely was a journey. And like, uh, I've met a lot of people on the way, uh, like-minded, that um, also were starting out. I don't know, looking back, it was a lot of fun and also kind of annoying. Finding a spot to film or, you know, dealing with security and this and that and fucking, I don't know, getting permits or whatever, you know, uh drawing attention from neighbors be like oh do you guys have a permit to film here this and that you know and you're like dude we're just doing something for project yeah i don't know what the fuck you know it's just like god damn it you know uh there are certain things that kind of like you start to deal with they don't realize by you know trying to like get practice and actually make films and stuff like that also like because uh you are looking for work there are a lot of people out there that are you know may have already got a head start on you know creating content and because you're willing to work they just use you as free labor and like I made that, that mistake of like thinking oh I'm finally working on a video you're excited for that but because you're excited you're being taken advantage of you know of your time to work for free 
with the hopes that it's going to lead to something, right? And that's uh, itself is dangerous, you know, and I've been through that. So that being said, um, honestly, the best thing you can do, really, if you want to, like, get started on whatever project it is, is, like, literally... Uh, with the internet in particular, networking is probably the best thing you can do, right? And for me, like what worked out the best was really going to school. Now, uh, you know, going to a community college, take some classes, you know. Now think about this. Uh, someone that's actually putting time aside to go to school. Obviously, you know, if you go to school, if you've been to school, you know how much time that shit can take up, right? So you got to have like uh, the state of mind and organization to actually, you know, want to make something out of it, right? So with that, you got to think, okay, going to school is going to benefit you in that sense. Now, I do not suggest you to get in debt. Do not go to film school. Fuck that. Don't put yourself in debt. What I'm saying is, like, go to a community college, you know. Find a, like, uh, you know, low entry class or whatever. And go but with the intention to, well, one, practice, have fun. But do aim to meet people. Sit down, scope out the environment, try to, like, talk to people, find out who you get along with. And try to like let people know, be like, hey, this is my skill, this is what I can do. Um, I don't know, maybe I have a good computer, you are good at an artist. Uh, maybe you have a garage, or open space that you can offer to film. Try to get your foot in, you know, actually get to know people. That's, uh, that's basically the thing that's going to help you the most. Um, that's really how I got my job working with Pa is that I went to school. My intention was to work for a film studio. I didn't like it. And like I said, not knowing exactly how to get to that point. I just went to school thinking, oh, if I get my degree, then, you know, with that, I can try to apply for a job, this and that. But thankfully, by me, like, you know, being that personality, going up to people, talking and this and that, I met someone that knew someone that knew Kyle, then Kyle introduced me to Paul, then, you know, eventually I started working with Paul more. And next thing you know, it was like, all right, I ended up working with him, right? So, and uh, the benefit of working with Paul is that, you know, he works with PCs. Well, as a video editor... Obviously, you got any fucking PC, so there's been a massive benefit of working with him because he has access to this technology, right? And I think that'll be my final point with this video is that, yeah, definitely go to environments where you can find like-minded people. And, you know, you like jazz music, obviously, you're going to go to a jazz festival. You can meet people that like jazz music. Go to film events where you find like-minded people that like film. I mentioned that like, I like going to like a Frida Cinema which is like an independently owned like theater, right? And like uh, somebody mentioned that you guys have that similar in your town, wherever you're from, right? Yeah, uh, try to go there, maybe volunteer, do some work. Obviously, if people are working in that environment, they're into like film, so try to ask them, you know, if they're into like movies, acting or whatever. Just try to get involved. It's gonna take a while, I'm not gonna deny that, you know, but it's fun. <laughs> you know, it's part of it, it's a journey. Not knowing is part of the fun and like not knowing is basically what's going to you know build character and you, you're going to go through some shit. So that being said, also appreciate the people that support you along the way, you know. Uh, you're going to meet some people that like uh, you, you're probably going to become good friends with. But most likely you're only going to like, uh, you know, meet that person for like a few months and then like, you're going to move on. Even though those few months were good in a sense of like you learning something with them, you shared something with that person. But, you know, that was just a just a moment, you know, that was a stepping stone. You learn something, you move on, and then you continue going, right? I definitely made some uh, sacrifices because I didn't have a computer, so like you know, I had to like put myself in debt to like get a computer so I can get work done, right? I guess the thing I'll tell my younger version of myself when I was starting to like look for work is basically um, be more flexible. And what I mean by that is that I was very stuck on my way to be a VFX artist. I was really, really aiming to be that. You know, I wanted to work for a studio to do VFX work, right? And that was my main goal. And because of that, I spent a lot of time working towards that, studying, you know, learning a lot of software to like become a VFX artist, right? So when I started working with Pa, it did get to a point where like I had to make a decision because I couldn't really spend my time that much. It was taking up a lot of energy. It's like either I can work on becoming a better editor and increase my speed, my skill set to work with someone like Pa. But continue doing this thing on the side which you know i have like no real i wasn't seeing much results from it doing like vfx work right yeah i spent a lot of time studying doing stuff that i don't use anymore in regards to like doing vfx work uh once i started seeing like the results of working with someone like paul i guess be more mindful and have more of a clear head to see wow paul's cool he's a good guy he works in the industry he has access to a lot of this technology and in return he helps me he pays me Treats me good. We're good friends. Um, you know, obviously him having access to technology 
it benefits me too because he upgrades me in my workstation and this and that so having that like um clarity and acceptance that like okay when you see something good in front of you uh be willing to like change yourself <laughs> you gotta do a, you gotta sacrifice a lamb my lamb was that my fucking all the years i was studying learning to do vfx work i had to give that up so i could focus on becoming a better editor to work for someone like pa and that's something you're gonna you're gonna come across with in my opinion uh, if you go down this route or if you want to like you know work on your stuff right you're gonna have to there's gonna be a time where you're gonna have to make a choice and you're gonna have to give up something and like i said i was, I was studying for years did a lot of tests a lot of tutorials stayed up late working on becoming a good vfx artist this and that but a lot of that shit wasn't benefit me to like work for someone like paul so i had like drop all of those years of work and focus on something else to like get a job with paul right having like i guess like the practice and dedication of becoming a vfx artist it benefited me to show to paul that i'm someone he wants me he wants on his team right which was me anyways uh, i got nothing else to say uh, i'm still sick so me talking and it's hurting my throat so i'm gonna stop here good luck guys if you're not sure how to start good figure out where to start you know you're a guy fucking tough it out you know this is where like i guess like that man thing kicks in you know it's even if you're a woman i mean like yeah if uh the approach will probably be different but still the same thing it's still a journey you know you got to figure things out you got to pave your way and like uh when people ask me oh how do you do it yeah this is how i did it and you know and how i did it it's gonna be different from how you're gonna do it and i think uh, that's a shame that people when they ask me that question they want to know what did what i did so they can do it themselves to get like the results that i have whereas you know like uh, my results are gonna, gonna be completely different and from what your results is gonna be right so please keep that in mind uh yeah you not knowing is a good thing because that means you have a fucking clear path to create your uh, your way how to to achieve the shit that you want to achieve right and go for it right so anyways that's all i have to say good luck and yeah thanks for hanging out with me <laughs> hope this video didn't turn out too long talk to you guys later peace